Good morning, guys. Nandito po kami sa uh, Tuscany. Hindi oh, na ako nag-ano. Tinali ko na lang yung buhok ko. Anyway, umaga sa Tuscany ngayon. Ayan. So, bread breakfast lang kami. And then, magda-drive na kami papuntang Ferenze. So, ayan. Thank you sa aming mga lovely and very, very hospitable na very lovely couple na si June at saka si Blessy from Roma, Italy. Sila po ang nagpapasyal sa amin dito sa Italy. Ayan. Good morning! Buongiorno! Good morning, Tuscany! Ayan po. Alas 7 ng umaga dito sa Tuscany. At ito ang aming view ng aming kwarto. Ayan. Maya-maya kami po ay mag-aalmosa. And there you go guys, breakfast with the view here in Tuscany. Thank you. And there you go guys, uh, our breakfast was served uh, per table. So it's not the typical thing buffet that you get to get your own breakfast. Done with our breakfast, so now we are going to hit the road heading to Firenze or as they call it in English, Florence. We are finally on the road. We are leaving the charming village of Montepulciano. Montepulciano is situated in the province of Siena and it is without doubt one of the most beautiful villages in Tuscany. The wine produced in this park is pretty beautiful too, making Montepulciano a must visit for wine lovers. There you go guys we are finally in florence florence is actually the capital of italy's tuscany region and it is home to many masterpieces of renaissance art and architecture and one of the most iconic site is the duomo which we are going to be visiting later on this video all right guys just like any other countries sa italy po meron din po siyang toll gate so in order to get into the city you have to pay a toll so here now in Firenze, join us as we explore the city. Okay guys, nasa Firenze na kami. So we are ready to explore the city. Florence, my friend, is the capital city of Tuscany region in Italy. And it is also known for many things including its outstanding arts, Renaissance architecture, and some distinguished cultural heritage. So join us as we explore the city and find out more about it. One of the most famous landmarks in Florence is the magnificent Duomo Cathedral with its massive red dome dominating the city's skyline. So we will get to see that in a little while.
like I said in my earlier video guys, you will definitely be needing a good walking shoes when you roam around Italy. So we are about to get close to the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore and if I said that right. So ano ang Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore? So from what I have heard, the Cathedral of Florence is the the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore was completed in 1434 and they said it is the most important landmark in Florence as well as the, being the fourth largest church in the world. So if you happen to be visiting Italy, you have to see this one. You have, you have to make sure that you get to visit this uh, famous landmark. Access to the most important cathedral in the city is free through some special entrances that are properly marked but unfortunately the time when we were there there was a long line so we were not able to get to the tower because our time in Florence was limited because we will be driving to Milan so we did not get the chance to see the inside what we did was just walk around it, you know, explore it para at least naman may mga picture kami. Kasi sobra guys, ang dami ng tao nung dumating kami doon. At mauubos ang oras namin kung kami pa ay pipila at para lang marating yung tore. probably wondering guys if is Santa Maria del Fiore Gothic or Renaissance so according from what I have read the um, the church or the Santa Maria del Fiore is Gothic so Dumo according to what I read Dumo Florence is a Gothic church of incredible importance in Florence it is actually named in honor of Santa Maria del Fiore and the constructions began in the 13th century but was only completed in the 15th century. Guys, sa totoo lang, napakaraming lakaran itong ginawa namin si Italy kaya sobrang pagod. So, kailangan ready kayo, malakas kayo at uh, you know, kayang-kaya niyo maglakad. That's why itatanong niyo sa sarili niyo is the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore worth visiting? I would say absolutely yes. It is worth visiting because, you know, a visit to this cathedral is more than just walking through the cathedral and seeing the dome. At ayan guys, nakikita nyo, finally, after so many uh, steps that we did, we finally uh, felt na gutom na kami. So, as we are walking, we are trying to find some good place where we can have a good lunch. Oh, what's it, what's it, what's it? guys, kaso parang mali yata ang pinuntahan namin kasi ang nakikita namin eh mga panukso mga naggagandahang alam mo naman na nga, ano, na nga branded store na napakaganda talaga at napakaganda rin ng mga presyo although all I can say is that kung dito kayo mamimili sa Italia eh I still find it cheaper compared if you are uh, buying it in the States kasi sa States may tax whereas dito sa Italy it is tax free and when I say tax-free is, guys, ang kagandahan lang dito is when you shop sa Italy, merong specific place na where you can file or we, where you can claim the refund right away. Yung hindi ka napupunta sa airport. Kasi pag nag-file ka ng claim, ang mag nag-file ka ng refund sa, ano, sa airport, napakalaking hassle. Tapos minsan ang, ang haba pa ng pila. So, advice ko lang kung mamimili kayo eh, find a place where yung mga, ano, yung mga global blue na, ano, na where you can, um, request the tax refund right away and of course guys when you are in Florence 
make sure you take a picture with the view of the Ponte Vecchio. The Ponte Vecchio is a medieval stone close spandrel segmental arch bridge over the Arno in Florence, Italy. And it is the only bridge in Florence that was spared from destructions during the World War II. Plus, it is also noted for the shops built along it. Around it, marami kayo makikita ang mga souvenir shops, merong may mga damit, even jewelry, anything, anything that you can think of meron sa Italy. And you will definitely uh, enjoy it. And of course, it is a must that you must take a picture so it will always remind you of your visit in Ponte Vecchio. And then finally guys, you are able to find some place to eat. So we just had sandwich around uh, Centro mm -hmm. Historico. So can you eat it? it After stopping by for a quick lunch, nag-continue kami sa aming mahabang lakarin. And this time, nakarating kami sa Palacio Vecchio or the Vecchio Palace. Uh, the Palacio Vecchio is the town hall of Florence, Italy. It overlooks the Piazza della Signoria, which holds a copy of Michelangelo's David statue. Sa Roma, sa Roma tita, pupunta din tayo. Tignan mo. Sa Roma, mayroon din sa Roma ng ganito. Malug siya. Kaso wala siya. And then guys, after nating inikot ang palasyo, alamin naman natin kung anong famous dito sa Palaso Vecchio. So, according sa akin na basa, ito daw ay the symbol of Florence political power and it is also the first for the Republic and then for the Medici, Medici dynasty. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I said it right. Medici? Medici dynasty. So, alamin natin kung sino ba ang mga Medici family. Okay guys, sa totoo lang, ang hirap big kasi ng mga pangalan ng mga Italiano. So, kayo na lang ang mag-research. So, anyway, eto si Ana Maria Luisa de Medici. So, sino siya? So, isa siyang noble woman according to um, uh, Wikipedia. So, kayo na ang bahalang mag-research guys. And there you go guys. Pagkatapos namin sa palaso, naglakad-lakad kami ng konti dahil sabi ni Blessy, meron daw Gucci Museum sa tabi-tabi. So, hinanap namin siya hanggang sa marating nga namin siya. At uh, kami pumasok at tinignan kung ano nga ba ang nandun. So, papakita ko sa inyo guys kung ano ang meron sa Gucci Museum. At eto nga guys, nakarating kami sa Gucci Museum at uh, titignan natin kung anong meron. Actually, ito daw ay dedicated to the iconic Italian fashion house with classic clothing and handbag exhibits. So, tara, samahan nyo kami. say yes, since nasa Florence na kayo, edi pumunta na rin kayo at uh, pumasok kayo, tingnan nyo kung ano yung mga uh, sinaunang mga designs ng mga bag. So, in short, the Gucci Garden is a very well-known attraction sa Florence and it is known for showcasing the history of the Gucci brand and its clothing design. 
Yan. So, if you have time, I would say drop by. It is worth seeing. So, it also um, is dedicated to the Gucci fashion brand and showcases its history, yung mga iconic clothing designs nila, and of course, yung mga famous dresses na sinuot ng mga sikat na mga celebrities. So, how much would it cost you to enter the museum? At the time we were there, that was in September of 2023, uh, it only cost us like 8 euro to get inside the museum. So, I am not sure kung magkano na ngayon ang entry to get into the museum. And there you go guys. O diba, ang dami mga bags. Makikita nyo dito ang mga iba-ibang iconic pieces of the brand ng mga Gucci bags. There you go guys that concludes our florence trip after this kami po ay mag um overnight sa florence and then the next day we are driving to milan so i would like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching thank you for your support and i hope you like comment share and subscribe by doing so you are helping us grow our channel and once again thank you for watching and god bless